my own experience, if I am to speak out, when the UNH people approached me in Delhi, I had uh, not realized one of the most affected districts in the country was my own district, that is Udupi. And the reason being that many of our youth they work in Bombay. Right? And at that time the feeling was Bombay was the gateway right, for HIV AIDS. Yeah. But uh, when a case was reported that a lady who had gone for delivery on testing they found that she was carrying HIV in this. And when the husband came to know that she was infected with HIV in AIDS, he poured kerosene on her and burnt her. She was almost 90% burnt and she was admitted to the hospital. And uh, when the husband was there in the hospital. She asked the husband, why have you done this to me? And uh, later on it was revealed that he was carrying HIV and AIDS and it was he who infected his wife. So the man, without knowing that he had infected his wife, he punished his wife for carrying HIV and AIDS. Then I realized how important this issue is, not only for my district, for the whole country. And we parliamentarians came together and formed the forum. Now today it is almost a decade and a half that the forum is in existence. After the forum was formed, we didn't look at the politics of the country. We said HIV AIDS is the biggest challenge for humanity and all of us should come together irrespective of politics. And fortunately from that day to today, there is no politics in the parliamentarians forum people from all political parties are in the forum and our only objective is to see that we do not get new infections in our country. Now the government has launched a program where every pregnant woman has to be tested and if we are able to test them at the pregnancy stage it is possible that the child to be born will be without HIV. It's one area only, I'm not talking it's the total area of the problem, but one area. If we can prevent children from acquiring HIV and AIDS, the entire lifespan of a child will be free from HIV and AIDS. Now doctors participation in this program. This conference, as I've seen the agenda, is discussing every aspect on HIV and AIDS. And if this message goes to every doctor in the country, then definitely they will be the main persons who will guide the families how to keep HIV and AIDS out. And even if you are infected with HIV and AIDS, how to live a healthy life despite being affected by HIV and AIDS. Uh, my appeal to Dr. Gilada, or rather I am inspired by him for having taken up under the doctors of this country, that every doctor is brought into this, so that any affected person is not denied medical treatment. It's happening. 
people think that you handle a patient with HIV and AIDS, the infection will spread to others, whether it is the nurses or the doctors or they feel that if a patient is treated in a particular clinic, other patients may not come, this feeling is there. But if doctors themselves are seen actively fighting against HIV and AIDS, I think we can achieve a great deal in preventing HIV and AIDS. I am happy to be here today to partake in this conference. It is the eighth conference that has taken place. I have requested Dr. Gilada to bring his entire team to the national conference that we are going to organize in a southern state either in Hyderabad or in Bangalore in the month of January so that we will get the benefit of their experience and whatever they suggest we will be able to carry forward in solving the problem. Thank you very much. We try to take a broader view and uh, most of the academic uh, exercises uh, they think uh, they are great they, but the, what they think that this is the whole world. They think that what we know and what everybody in our forum knows is going to be everybody. It does not go like that. Uh, in any change, you need involvement of people and people's representatives. Because uh, if uh, there is a constituency of a particular parliamentarian who gets uh, 2 lakhs or 3 lakhs vote, that means there are 3 lakh supporters he has. Uh, if I speak, hardly 2, 4, 5 people will listen to me. But if the uh, parliamentarian speak, then those many number of people say our leader is saying like that. Not only that, parliamentarians influence the policy makers, planners and ultimately they are running the country. If they are convinced of some issue that can go and percolate to the entire uh, machinery in the government. So I think uh, not only us, every different speciality, they should also think that what they are doing in their speciality has to go to masses and if it has to go to masses, it has to go through either parliamentary forum leaders or legislators or uh, heroes and heroines or those particular leaders, sports people, those who are following in the people. Otherwise, uh, we will just discuss, we will pass resolution, the resolution will be published in some book and nowadays nobody reads books. So, that will just end up there. So, I salute Oscarji and uh, we continue uh, partnership of parliamentarian uh, on AIDS, uh, forum on parliamentary on AIDS for last four years and it will continue forever uh, so long as uh, they uh, don't say now no more associate with us. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, sir. Yeah, thank you.